everybody, this is Ernie Hatmaker, and I just want to show you how easy it is to use the pop-up hamper as a container. They're readily available. They're everywhere, even when there's no more like gardening stuff out, because this is winter time right now. You can still use what you got. Look at that. This is what it looks like. I mean, it's nothing fancy nothing nothing fancy and because it's a hamper um, it actually it's a little protective of mildew so it's one of those fabrics that you know is not going to easily uh, ruin disintegrate before you get your growing season out of the way so what I did was I put you know just a growth medium which in my case it was a really cheap bag of <laughs> dirt um, what was it? I don't know, like Dollar General kind of potting mix, you know, soil, mulch. It was mostly like wood chippy feeling kind of stuff. <laughs> wood chippy, that's a new word for you. And the hamper. This hamper was, I think, like $3, something like that. I, I said it was a dollar store hamper originally, but yeah, it's $3. Um, it was. I got two of them, and this was a. I don't know, a couple months ago, like back in April, I believe. So, April, here it is, September, actually September the 30th. So, yeah, what do you think? Look at that guy. Look at all of those. Big ones, little ones. We've harvested a few times already off of this thing. The more you pull, the more they want to create. There's a big one coming up there. That's a pretty big guy. I might get more of those. They don't fall over when this thing, this thing is top heavy. I've trimmed it. So that it grows up and over like a tree and it just keeps going the bell peppers in the hamper there are lots and lots of peppers that we've already taken out uh, we've taken them out as green we do like green peppers and you can see they still are loving the hamper. So the stuff in this hamper just, I don't know, I think it's three days after I last showed you guys. It's now hanging over this fruit on this side here. It's still kind of a tree. And the hamper still hasn't blown over yet. It's awesome. So this is what's left now. And that's because a bunch of it has been chopped off. And it's not because it was dying. It's just because it's getting to be where we're coming up on our um, first frost date uh, really soon. It's coming earlier than expected. The almanac, you know, says... It's supposed to be around October the 13th through the 25th for our frost date. But I have a feeling that it's going to be earlier because it's very chilly out here right now. Even though it gets to be almost 80 degrees still in the middle of the day. I mean, you see this? There were a lot of flowers on this particular stalk. So I decided I was going to go ahead and just kind of do some chopping. And um, I thought about bringing it in and... Uh, trying to root it and it's still not out of the question I'm not gonna cry <laughs> if it don't make it it's you know done us really well and you can see what I said look at that that's not a very high quality medium I mean I fertilized it the same as the other peppers so it got really good drainage and it never tipped over it expands with the soil 
Um, didn't really have a bug problem. I had a problem with frogs hopping in it, but they hop in all our containers. So, there you go. You can grow peppers and probably a ton of other stuff in a pop-up hamper. <laughs>